we are going to graph number four and it says to make sure to show all the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So let's do the x-intercepts first. We can see that we're going to have three of them. Uh, we're going to have one for each factor. Remember to find your x-intercepts you set each factor equal to zero. And then this one's the easiest one to solve. So we're going to have one x-intercept on positive three. We're going to have one x-intercept on positive a half, and we're going to have one x-intercept on negative a half. Uh, we also need to, to notice the multiplicities. Uh, there's no exponent here, so we'll put a 1 and we'll put a 1 there. So this one has a multiplicity of 1, and another multiplicity of 1, and this one has a multiplicity of 2. So these two are going to go through and this one is going to bounce. So I'm going to bounce off of the negative one-half. I'm going to bounce right there, and I'm going to go through the other two. Um, I also need to figure out what my y-intercept is going to be, and so to remember to find your y-intercept, you plug in zero for x. So this basically becomes two times zero plus one being squared, and this becomes two times zero minus one, and this becomes 0 minus 3. So 2 times 0 is nothing. This is 1 squared. 2 times 0 is nothing. This is negative 1. And 0 minus 3. This is negative 3. Also, be careful to remember that negative that's out front. So I'm basically computing this number right here. They're all being multiplied together. So this 1 squared is still just 1. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1. Times negative 3 is negative 3. So my y-intercept is going to be at negative 3. So I'll put that on my graph as well. The only other thing I need to figure out is my end behavior. Um, end behavior is based on the degree of the whole polynomial, not just the degree of each um, factor, which we call the multiplicity, but the degree of the whole polynomial. So to find that, we add up all the multiplicities. So we have two here, one here, and one here. So I have a degree 4 polynomial. Since this is even, my ends either both go up or they both go down. And we look at this leading coefficient to decide if it's going to be opening up or opening down. And since it's negative, um, my ends are both going to be going down. So I'm going to have one end down here, and this end is also going to end up down here. And now I can just draw my graph. Remember, I'm bouncing off of this point right here. And I'm going to go down and get my y-intercept. I'm going to go through this point and go through this point. It doesn't matter how far up this goes. We don't really know. We're just sketching it. So that's perfect for that graph.